Good morning everyone, here from Cappadocia in Turkey. It's a really early start to the morning. We just got up at 5am and we got up that early to watch the hot air balloon show that's going on right now. So look at this, got loads of hot air balloons everywhere. So the place that we're in is called uh, Goremi. That's like the main town here in Cappadocia. So we almost got up uh, a bit late actually. I think the hot air balloons come from over there in the valley, but yeah, at least we still got to see it. Well, that's really cool. It's way more than Bagan. Yes, I think so. Closer too. Yeah, look at that one. It just seems like it's gonna hit some house at any moment. <laughs> yeah, what's going on there? It seems super low. That's bizarre. So we were here yesterday and we were supposed to do the hot air balloon, but ours was uh, cancelled because of wind on the day and they don't pass you on to the next day so um, yeah you can be unlucky like us and yeah if you arrange on a day and it doesn't happen you might not be able to do it on your trip we're still trying to book it for tomorrow but we have no idea yet maybe at the end of this video we'll know if we're going to be able to do it really hope so because that's one of the main reasons we came here as well to to do that So we ended up taking a nap and now we're having breakfast here at our hotel. So this is included in our hotel price. So we're paying $58 a night and yeah, we get like a breakfast feast, huge breakfast. You can also get scrambled eggs and French toast, but today we're just going with the other stuff that they bring, loads of fruit and stuff. Got an audience this time, three cats, whiny cats. <laughs> and this right here is our cave room. It's not a real cave. I think they've just uh, styled it as if it is a cave. But really cool. Probably one of the coolest rooms we've stayed in. Never had a circular bed before. Looks pretty fancy. And then this place has an underground bathroom. Big bathroom. So we have a bathtub too. Haven't used that yet. Bathtub and a shower. And yeah, it's just really spacious. So this is one of the main streets of Goremi. So it's very touristy. This part, it's not like a traditional village or anything. This area, beautiful rug store there. And around here, you'll see these fancy old fashioned cars everywhere. I think people like to drive around with them, take pictures. Pretty funny though. I didn't expect to see like some classical cars in this area. And we're heading to a spot called Red Valley. Later on we'll explore the town of Goremi. And Red Valley also has loads of those chimney rocks. And Carol's just checking which hikes we're gonna do. It's a hiking area, right? Yeah, so I think we're gonna do a mix of three different hikes, which is the Red Valley hike, the Meskendi Valley, and the Rose Valley hike. So a lot of hiking. There are, yeah, three valleys and we're gonna do some hikes around those valleys. Yeah. So we're just going to this taxi spot. The guy said it would only be around 50 lira to go. Spoke with him yesterday. information before I continue with our day to talk about the sponsor of this video, Surfshark. So Surfshark is a VPN provider that we've been using for over a year and a half now on all of our devices and it's helped us out in some tricky situations online. For example, here in Turkey we started having internet related issues with some booking platforms and we were unable to book our accommodations. However, we easily bypassed the issue by using Surfshark to connect to a different country. 
In addition to that, during our travels we have to frequently connect to public Wi-Fi's and Surfshark allows us to have a private connection, keeping our personal information and data safe from potential hackers. Surfshark also gives us access to all Netflix libraries, so wherever we travel to, we're always able to watch whichever Netflix series that we want to by just adjusting our VPN location on Surfshark. With just one single account, you can connect to unlimited devices, which means you can use it on all your family's devices. Click on the link in the video description, which has the discount code Jumping Places to get 83% off and three months for free. This also includes a 30-day money-back guarantee. So we stopped at a spot called Kaya Camping, which online says is where the trail starts and it ended up just costing 40 lira. They do meter here, so so that was good. In uh, Istanbul, <laughs> we was having uh, problems with taxi drivers. They never do the meters, just like everywhere else in the world. <laughs> Bit of a pain. And yeah, it's already looking awesome. So I guess these are the valleys here. Yeah, and I think this first area is the Meskendi Valley. The Red Valley is more over there somewhere. <laughs> it's the red one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this one you can see it's like white rock. Over there you can see more like orangey red rock. And this is a farming area, so you'll see loads of plantations. You can see stuff being planted over there. here when you look at the rocks there's always carvings on the majority of them yeah look at this up there girl it's all, almost reminding me of like Petra yeah yeah same vibes <laughs> yeah, it's like the Turkish version of Petra so we're gonna be seeing loads of buildings carved that one over there you can see a window so already got some cool rock tunnels too I guess this was carved out it looks like it so the good thing is that in the shade, in the caves and the tunnels, it's really nice and cool. We've come at like midday, which isn't ideal. But yeah, at least every time we get hot, we can go in there and it's really cool. Really nice temperature. Yeah, Carol, I thought we was going to like some just rocky drive valley. Yeah, <laughs> I had no idea we would be like this, which is great actually. Yeah, it's more covered, right, with the trees at the moment anyway. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, the Red Valley, I'm not so sure. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of lucky, so I think we've been hit with a kind of cold front. So at night, it got to like 7 degrees Celsius, which is pretty crazy, right? We're in the, the summer, so it gets really hot during the day. And then at night, it's really cold. But when we check the forecast in a few days time, the lowest it gets is around like 15. So this part is even more bizarre because look how high the spots are here and all the way up there as well. Man, how the hell did people get into these places? I don't, I don't get it at all. <laughs> I really don't see any way that they'd get all the way up there. So found this pathway here. Doesn't look like anyone's really passed through here recently. But there is a, a cave here on the ground. It kind of stinks around here. It smells like a dead animal. <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing dead inside here. Yeah, I guess this was a, a man-made one. Oh. oh man, there is a dead animal. There's a dead dog. Whew. That actually creeped me out. That was disgusting. There's some more caves on this side. I don't think we can get up into them though. You could probably climb up into this one here. Maybe I'll try going in. Good luck. At least this time we have uh, the health insurance valid. <laughs> well, there's like a groove. Problem is, what should I hold on now? All right, cool. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, we're inside. Looks like they've been making some sort of fire here. Oh, check this out. So I just came through here and there's like these pieces of wood around here. A secret cave. It's kind of dark as you can see. Wow, this is insane how they make these places. So they even have this like column in the middle. And this is the window that we could see. Hey girl. <laughs> yeah, look at this old little window as well. Wonder if it's original. Super old looking metal. Yeah, look at this, you can slide through. Need my flashlight. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm surprised by how big this room is. Was this part just uh, storage maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, so this is as far as it goes. Oh, loads of bugs and stuff in here. <laughs> wow, awesome place to explore though. Alright, time to head back down. Look at this little hole to enter this room. The so Chris just got back from the cave. Yeah. And he's all dirty oh no. my god it's a lot a lot of dust yeah how to stay in cappadocia for free bring a sleeping bag <laughs> and go in one of these places Spotted a, a sofa here. <laughs> Maybe this is a cave we can enter. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah, from the Byzantine times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Byzantine sofa. So Carol mentioned Byzantine sofa before, and that is because this area was developed by the Byzantines in the Middle Byzantine period around the 900s to the 1100s so they're the ones that carved out all these little houses and some churches that we're gonna see soon uh, there's supposed to be some cave churches here so looking forward to seeing that and apparently they also dug out several kilometers of uh, water channels for water and uh, cisterns things like that so they developed this entire area so i think we're entering red valley soon so we're leaving the uh, white rocks can already see some that look a bit more orange now man they're they're so big though yeah carol that's the coolest set of rocks we've seen so far <laughs> yeah wow everything's just mind-blowing yeah it's like a, a wizard's hat <laughs> and right next to the wizard hats we have our first cave church right here so believe it or not there is a church inside there <laughs> so I've got to do some rock climbing to get in this church. You good? Yeah. Push your, push your butt. There you go. <laughs> Man, this is the craziest church ever. Oh, you could have held here. Yeah, but it's not very deep. <laughs> there there we go. Hold. Yeah, so it's completely tiny. Got a bit of the remains of a fresco here. Can barely see anything though. I think some other places that, we'll, that we're gonna go to will have uh, way more preserved frescoes. The cross. Oh yeah, on the roof of the big faded cross. Yeah, you can see they would have had designs on the, the arch as well. Our trail is going that way but we're gonna take a bit of a detour because we can see some more doors there on the ground so it might be the chance for Carol to go into one of the homes. <laughs> Carol doesn't want to do no crazy rock climbing. Man, I love these cone rocks though, like really bizarre. 
how they've formed that shape. Perfect cone. Quite a few around here. So in this cone, there's some windows up there and you can enter it. There's a doorway. Yeah, so look at this crazy tunnel going up. <laughs> it's really high. There's some grooves here, so you could go up, but I don't know. So possibly in those big cliffs that we saw before that had the rooms and windows way, way high up, maybe there was like a little secret entrance at some point. And then just within the rock and within the cliffs, there's these passageways to other rooms. And then next to this one, we just realized that there is yet another cave church here. And the frescoes look even more preserved. There are a few little rooms around here in this area. We'll check them out. There's one little one there. Yeah, that one's way more detailed, isn't it? Yeah, wow. But you can see that someone um, destroyed the, the faces. Ah, yeah, they always go for the faces. Yeah. So I don't know if that was when, like, the Ottomans took over the Byzantines in this region. Still super faded, but they can make out some parts pretty well. The colors are really preserved, like, very vibrant colors still. <laughs> Man, I love places like this that are just kind of open to uh, explore. Yeah, yeah, just like Bagan in, in Myanmar. Yeah, you don't know what you're gonna find. Yeah, which we loved it so much and we missed it. But yeah, it's just amazing. And like you said, there's no people around, so it makes it even more uh, incredible. Yeah, I don't know why there's no one around here at all. Any of these places that we're going. Yeah, I think these are my favorite kind of adventures, like some big epic historic cities, places like Angkor Wat, uh, Petra, like we just said, now here. <laughs> this is up there already in the list of awesome historical places that we've been to. So it's a good job that we took this detour because we're finding so many buildings here, ground level buildings. So I'm guessing this part must have been some sort of a uh, central location because yeah there's just so many houses here. It's almost like every rock is a house. This house looks cool. <laughs> This looks like a bed, doesn't it? Like a pillow to rest your head. What, a cave? Wow, this looks like a natural entrance. Whoa! <laughs> like another world. Yeah, we just entered another world. Yeah, it's like some mini, mini canyon. Looks like water passed down here, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I guess water comes down here. <laughs> so this part is called the Rose Valley. It's more of a rosy color here. And this is where the cafe is that we were looking for to get some cold drinks. So I got some fresh watermelon juice that was 40. And Carl got some fresh orange juice that was also 40. I think he put about five oranges, oranges oh, really? in there. <laughs> yeah, squeeze them. That's perfect chill spot here. There's also loads of houses in this rose looking rock here. So we were getting a bit worried because we only brought like one bottle of water because we read that on the trail, there'd be loads of stores. But then there was only one store at the beginning and all the other stores that we passed, there was nobody there. They were like closed down. I don't know if that's because of COVID or something. So yeah, we were kind of in need of water. So glad we found this spot here. So we're just going to check out this place before we head out. The owner of the cafe said that there's a church in here wow so the church here it is way more preserved than the other ones that we saw the frescoes they'll uh, deface them all though yeah but it's super clear either way wow oh wow look at the cross as well like perfectly carved 
into the ceiling. Crazy. heading out of this part now we're kind of confused on which is the rose valley and which is the red valley we don't know if this is the red valley and we've already passed through it or if we still have to go to the red valley yeah can't really tell from the signs and there's loads of valleys around Cappadocia by the way this is just uh, three of them if you look online there's many more and the appearance always looks different different kind of rock formations different kind of colors so a lot to explore from what we saw, it looks like you could easily spend over a week here and have new things to do every day. So this right here is the official Red Valley. Not really a red color though, it's kind of the similar color to the rose one. It's even a bit yellow over there, but they call it Red Valley. Got some dance music playing at the top. Seems like there's some restaurants and stuff. You can see a few over there. Yeah, so that was the Rose Valley right there. Man, we did a lot of walking all the way through that. Come to one of the spots that was playing music on the hill. It's like a cafe. Just gonna get a bite to eat here and a drink. It's also a nice spot to hang out. Got these nice areas to sit down. Well, especially this spot, look. It's a really cool spot. Probably at sunset time, it'd be awesome. So if you don't wanna do any hiking, you can at least come here. And you still get similar scenery, really. Obviously the hike's a lot better though. So we found out why there's all the music. There's a wedding going on here, a Turkish wedding. <laughs> right next to a, a wedding, that's funny. And this is the food that we got. So I got some Turkish meatballs, haven't had that yet. That was 70. Got the cheese rolls as usual. That was a 30, I think. And Carol got a soup of the day, 40. What soup is it, do you know? the same uh, of uh, red lentils. Ah uh, yeah, they always do the lentil soup here, right? Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, and I just got the iron also as usual. And Cal got the coke as usual. So I've never seen meatballs like this before. Look at the size. Like tiny little meatballs. Usually in other places that have had meatballs, they're usually huge. It's tasty though. back in Goremi town where we're staying now we ended up just resting at our place for a bit we were very tired and we're just trying to find a sunset spot now that's on Google Maps so the town's cool because you get the same rocks with the cave homes that we saw but right in the middle of the town so even around here you can already kind of explore these places really although they might belong to people <laughs> this way oh yeah sunset point so these ones here are cave suites, amber cave suites. You can stay in a proper cave home. Oh, look at that one, like the hotel built into the side. I think it's the same place, isn't it? Yeah. Amber cave suites. I think those are the more exp expensive places so, since they're more unique. <laughs> yeah, you saw like the legit cave places were all more expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's like coming out of the, the rock. So this is our first time walking around this area properly of the town. So only now we're seeing how cool it looks. Loads of advertisements for the balloons obviously. 
So you gotta pay to enter five Turkish lira for the viewpoint. Look at the house here with the windows. Oh yeah. Modern windows. Yeah, this area is beautiful. <laughs> so it's definitely a great spot for the sunset. Get a view of everything from up here. So it'd be good to come up here during the day when we're not against the sun as well to see the town properly. Hello. Enjoying the, the sunset too. We're not the only ones that are mind blown by the views. No. <laughs> yeah, look at that, he even sat down. It's got his sunset spot for the day. <laughs> the sunset wasn't fun anymore. <laughs> back at the hotel now we just ended up grabbing a bite to eat at night it's really nice at night here it's pretty chilled out loads of options they all have lights as well so yeah it looks pretty nice and some good news is that carol seems to have found a company that has uh, two spots available for tomorrow so if the weather's good we're going to be able to do the hot air balloon so yeah i really hope that it's not too windy and we can do it because yeah it should be amazing if you like this video, just drop a like to support us as usual. Subscribe, like, see more like this. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram, and we'll see you around. Bye.